Now, this one excites me a lot because when I ride the forget-me-not twos, it means the waves are cooking. Usually it's a trip away somewhere or waves are substantial. So these boards are amazing. For a step up, I don't think you can find a better board on the market. I've got, personally, I ride a 6.6 six as my first step up, then I've got a 6.8 and a 7.2 as well. The 6.6 six is just a stock dimension straight off the shelf. So one of the key things with buying a bigger board is don't ride the same volume as your short board. A step up needs to have more volume in it so that you can get into your waves early and that's what these forget me nots are all about. There's no point scratching into a big one. We all don't surf like John John. We, uh, especially as you age gracefully, you need a little bit more foam up under your chest, slightly fuller outline in the nose and that helps you paddle in early because that gives your initial speed when you're surfing in bigger surf. You want to be able to get down it and get out in front of it or slide straight into the tube if you uh, if that happens, gives you a chance to happen. The good thing with the forget me nots is they've still got that pulling tail so they hold really well off the bottom and you can still throw them around. They still turn like a shortboard in the right size surf. We're really lucky to pick up three or four of Geordie's boards, Geordie Smith's boards that JS made him for um, for a trip to Australia and we've got three of these in the shop right now all with different sprays on them so plus we've got a whole range from 6.1 right through to 6.6 or 6.8 there at the moment but these Geordie ones are pretty special very limited so if you're keen on one of them I wouldn't muck around come to the store and get one everybody needs a quiver of step ups and we've got a big range in star right now cheers